Welcome to Skilling Minds. I am Preeti and today we are here with another hands-on session. But before we begin, if you are new to my channel, please subscribe with the bell notification so that you are the first one to receive our videos. And if you haven't watched our videos on Tableau Overview, Tableau Dashboards and Tableau Worksheets, the links are there in the description box below. Today, we talk about Tableau Story. Tableau Story is a sequence of visualizations that form together to convey the information. You can create stories to tell a data narrative, provide context, demonstrate how decisions relate to outcomes or simply to make a compelling case. So let's get started into the hands-on session. If you like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And please do share our channel with your friends and acquaintances. Thank you. Welcome to Skilling Minds, where we impart skill knowledge with easy to understand presentations and hands-on sessions. So whether you're a student or a corporate professional or a homemaker or an entrepreneur, adding skills helps you to increase productivity and attain proficiency. Most people delay adding new skills either due to lack of time or resources. But here at Skilling Minds, we will enable you to learn new skills at your own pace that can help you to stay ahead in today's competitive world. So let's jump straight away into today's topic and add a new skill to our portfolio with Skilling Minds. Welcome to hands-on session on Tableau Story. In this session, we'll learn how to create an effective story using previously created dashboards. So let's get started. Let's click on the story in the menu item and open up a new story sheet. Now here we see two things. We see story layout and on the left hand side we see all the different dashboards that we created in previous sessions available to us. So let's get started by putting a title towards what we want to show today. Now we can double click here and change the name of the sheet. So as we know that we are working on car claims data, so let's put something like car claim analysis. Click on OK, and that's the name of our story. Now to make an effective story, we should always keep in our mind the plot that we want to put together. We should always have a start, uh, a middle part, and an ending and that can be done by adding more dashboards in succession to each other in form of story creation so let's say we start with uh, our claims data uh, and understand that we want to give it a good uh, beginning so we start with something like uh, let's say car details now that we have just made you know the first plot of our story now how do i add another segment so that you know i can have at least three or four dashboards uh, to visualize in the same story all i need to go do is to go on my left hand side click on new story point you see the blank option here when you click on that a new segment gets added let's say i change this to something like customer details and I can you know add one more I can go and I can create one more and say claims details and now actually you know I have started my story uh, with telling all about you know what details I have for car or for customers or for claims now let's go to the other part of it which is the middle plot where we'll try to do you know more of uh, analysis so let's say i put something like 
claims uh, analysis part here where we can you know deep dive uh, into more of uh, uh, our data chunks and to put it an end we should always have the last column stating recommendations or it could also be conclusion in this way in our story set we have different sections created to analyze our data now let's begin to add the dashboards in our story plots so let's go to the first one which says card details and I just have to you know drag and drop the dashboard once I do that it's available under the section where I have dropped it and uh, this actually tells me more about uh, each and every data point pertaining to my car what are my car types what are my car uses in commercial or in private sector you know how much is the travel time for each and every car type and you know on the urban city where and when which uh, car type has been used and accordingly you know what claim amounts have been made on that particular cars so all the data that gives me information about cars its uh, use its type uh, I've tried to you know put them all together in one block of dashboard under car details similarly we'll move to the next segment which is you know customer details and if I pull dashboard 2 in the similar way and I drop it here uh, I, I get a dashboard in which I want to show all the details related to customer so from a customer perspective uh, you know the education of the customer uh, the marital status uh, the uh, parent or uh, you know single parent uh, connotation that we have already had in this data or you know even the gender male female also you know we can combine other views of you know the same customer giving more details about customers income uh, related to you know female and male and different aspects of you know their birth years telling us uh, from you know their age group as well and then we can move on to the right hand side and we can also look at you know from an occupation you know perspective uh, for example uh, you know it's a blue collar job or it's a clerical job uh, and so on and it also gives us the mix uh, of you know uh, differentiation of letting us know the gender of a male or a female in that occupation category and as for you know what are the claim amounts uh, you know been coming for different occupation segments as well as we already know and we have seen in our previous sessions uh, these filters are very useful uh, you can you know move them accordingly to see the slice of data that you want to analyze and drag them left and right it gives you the appropriate car count or let's do one thing let's uh, you know blow it up in the presentation mode and here you know we can uh, choose the filters that we want to look at let's say we don't want to see at all the education we want to see data pertaining to you know bachelors or you know something like uh, masters and you know we can play around with the data and see uh, that segment that is uh, what we are trying to you know, analyze uh, from a perspective to go back just press on escape takes you back to the storyline and let's move on to our third segment which we titled as you know the claim details so let's pull up another dashboard here and try to visualize uh, uh, the entire uh, you know, cast data with the perspective of claims that are made so if you see there are you know the claim amounts being put on the top so that tells us from a card type perspective how much claims have occurred also, we are trying to, you know, put 
these in form of bubbles to understand uh, the claim amount as per the car use in private or you know commercial segments for different car types and these blocks here also you know uh, that tells us about uh, how the bigger block is you know how much more is the claim and also you know it can give us the ranges uh, uh, in form of box plots uh, telling us uh, the total minimum or the maximum value for that particular claim as pertaining to you know different uh, car types uh, and car use as well let's uh, move further in our storyline uh, let's go to uh, the claims uh, analysis and uh, let's pull this data uh, let's uh, dashboard here now here is where uh, you know I talked about the middle part so you know we're trying to put more uh, focus on the analysis uh, section so we try to you know create a highlighted table uh, which exactly tells you from a different colors perspective uh, you know which is low or which is high in each and every segment of the claims amount uh, the other interesting fact is uh, to look into the Pareto uh, and uh, from using the 80 20 uh, principle uh, we could really uh, you know say that uh, the first four categories you know comprise of you know 80 uh, percent of the volume of uh, you know claims that are coming in and SUV uh, in the private uh, segment you know uh, being the highest uh, as we have always seen that and from a side by side perspective also you know we can see uh, the highest claims are there for SUV private uh, and this is how you know we can compare the data again we have uh, all the filters uh, should be you know what you, you want to click on a particular car type uh, and analyze that further or make a combination of you know two car types or three or accordingly we can choose from the filters uh, provided to us and as always uh, the last part should be something on recommendations and conclusions so I'm just pulling the previously created dashboard on the same uh, where uh, some recommendations and some conclusions have been made on this data uh, to you know form a complete storyline uh, from starting to middle to end uh, telling everything about our findings on the car claims data so in this way starting from car details and more details on customers and more details on claims we start our story we come to the middle part where we try to put analysis in different form of side to side charts or Pareto and finally we conclude with our recommendations on the car claims analysis with this I conclude Today's hands-on session on Tableau Story. If you like this video, then please go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe Skilling Minds. Leave us a comment on which skill video would you like to watch next. Also, press the bell notification button so that you are informed as soon as we upload a new skill video. Till then, take care and bye.